It's a quiet row of houses at Marymount Terrace, but residents here say they'll have to make room for Singapore's new expressway. This notice stuck outside houses informed those staying here that their homes will have to be somewhere else in the near future. Now, residents here at Marymount Terrace I spoke to did not want to be interviewed on camera, but some said they were told to get their property evaluated before entering into talks with the government to work out compensation packages. Residents also said they have two years to shift to a new place. The Singapore Land Authority will also acquire land at Marymount Convent to build the new North-South Expressway. For this, the Orange Valley Nursing Home and Good Shepherd Chapel will have to go. But Marymount Convent School says it will remain at its current premises. So will Marymount Kindergarten. The northern segment of the highway will snake through Ang Mo Kio and Sin Ming Avenue, among other places. It runs parallel to the Central Expressway and is meant to ease heavy traffic that flows through Singapore's North-South Corridor. But will it work? It will actually minimise congestion on certain uh, expressway uh, due to the fact that there's another uh, new route for, uh, I mean, uh, new avenue for people to use. This highway will elevate all the population living from uh, Pongol and uh, Yishun or this and Woodlands, so it really helps a lot. It would not help. The more highway, freeway you build, the more cars you are entitled people. Planning for the southern segment of the expressway is ongoing. Work on the expressway is expected to start in 2013 and completed by 2020.